when the weather gets cooler, you're craving some of that comfort food and there's nothing like a great soup. Today we are going to have creamy chicken potato soup. So come, come on in. in. Thanks for joining us here at Cooking with Shotgun Red and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer. And we have got a recipe today that you are going to love and it's all in one pot and it's some comfort food. Comfort food. When it starts getting colder, you want a big pot of comfort. Mm -hmm. This is the recipe for you. And we've got all of our stuff ready to go. We're going to take you back to the stove and show you how it's done. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that your chicken is chopped up. Once we have that chicken chopped up, we've got our Dutch oven on medium heat on the stove here. We're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil into the bottom of our pan, our pot. And we're going to cook up our chicken. Today we're using a seven and a half quart Dutch oven. Which means it's got lots of room for all that good stuff. Oh, all those carrots. We're all gonna those potatoes. And yes. We're gonna season up our meat a little bit. A little salt and pepper. And all we want to do is just get this work almost cooked. Just about. It won't take very long. In fact, I'll put that lid on and leave him cook quicker. Steve loves cooking his Dutch oven. He did. Yeah, he loves Dutch oven. That's what this is. Yeah. And you can use it on the stove. You can use it in the oven. That's the beautiful thing about the Dutch you oven. You can transfer that anywhere. We're going to turn that down just a little bit to medium low. And we're going to take a slotted spoon and remove that chicken and leaving the drippings in the pot. Remember this is going to continue to cook once we put it in with the rest of the soup again so. Alright, we're going to set that aside. I'm going to add a little bit more oil, olive oil to the pan, the pot. Why don't I keep calling this a pan? Oh. Sheila, I'm losing my mind. You've been around me too long. And then we're going to put about two tablespoons of butter. You left a piece of chicken in there, Jim. I know, that's for flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That's going to cause everybody to have anxiety. I don't care, it's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll let them have anxiety right there with us. We'll be all right. I could get it out of there, but yeah, why not? Yeah. Now that we got the butter melted, we're going to add our carrots that we have chopped up earlier. Our celery and our onion, one medium onion. So we've got six carrots sliced and chopped and we've got three celery sticks and one medium onion. And we're just gonna saute this up a little bit. So we're gonna let this cook a little bit, maybe about five minutes until it's tender. We'll see, we'll check it, we're gonna cover it. That's the beauty of this oven too. Just cover, cover it up. Cover it up and let it cook. All right. Look at this, Sheila. That looks great. <laughs> she's she, she's over in the recliner. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm telling on her. I don't care. She, it still looks really good. Here. <laughs> I know. You're making me laugh though. She's like, it's great. You're doing a great job, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy wanted me to try out some of this other stuff. I know. He's like, he's like, he's like sharing snacks over there. She's all preoccupied with that. Heck with the cooking. And you just, I'm gonna go over here and try out Jimmy's snacks. Oh my gosh, you're funny. <laughs> then we're gonna take about a tablespoon of minced garlic, and I'm just gonna use the rest of this. So we're gonna add about five tablespoons of butter. 
I'm going to melt that in there. And as soon as that's melted, we're going to add equally five tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And stir that together. We're going to cook that flour a little bit. This is going to help thicken our soup up. So we're going to cook this for about two minutes. Or Jennifer is. <laughs> Sheila's going to take a nap. <laughs> Yeah. You stir on. I'm going to pour yeah. our chicken broth in here. So we got about four cups of chicken broth. I'm going to pour and I need you to stir that around in there, which is basically one box of chicken broth. And then we're going to add our, I got half of a half and milk mix, three and a half cups. And we're going to stir that in. All right, once we get that stirred up, we're gonna add our chicken back into the pot. Whoop. There's that little piece again, Sheila. I know, that thing does not want to cooperate. And what we've done is we've chopped up our potatoes, which I'll show you how we chopped those up. And what we did, we put them in a little bit of water so that they don't turn brown. Uh, so Because we went ahead and prepped ahead of time. So we chopped these up. Put them in a little bit of water, then we drain them, and now we're going to dump them chunks right into that. Oh, oops. I'm splashing shotgun red and everything. Yes. He don't care. He likes it. So we're going to add about a teaspoon of onion powder. We're going to put about a tablespoon of granulated chicken bouillon. And you know how I like red pepper. She loves red pepper. Well, Mom says I can't put too much, but we're gonna put a half a teaspoon of out there, somewhere in that area <laughs> of give our red pepper yeah, flakes. Give or take. Give or take a few. And we're gonna put about a half a teaspoon of paprika. You're using our baby rattlers. I am you? using the baby rattlers today. A little bit of black pepper, and I'm just going to guesstimate on this. I'm just going to say it's about maybe a quarter to a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And you can do that to taste. You know, some people like more pepper, some people like, you know, more salt. And then I've got the tops of our celery sticks, the leaves on there, we're going to put that inside because that's going to flavor the soup also. And sprinkle that in there. And I'm going to put a few, two or three bay leaves in there to stir in. And we're going to leave those in. We'll take the bay leaves out right at the end. So we'll stir those in. We're going to cover this. So I'm going to turn this up to about medium heat, maybe a little bit medium high until it starts to simmer. And then we're going to bring it down to simmer it on low for 30 minutes about. And we'll check it. We'll stir it on occasion. And we're going to go take a nap. And Sheila's going to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as it starts to get cold, she gets, she starts to get sleepy like a bear. You know, she's like, she's ready for hibernation mode. <laughs> This looks so good. We had this covered and it was simmering for about like 30 minutes. It was. And we stirred it on occasion. We kept it covered. But, we, you know, you want to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And it just looks and smells delicious. I can't wait to try it. Shall we dish some up? I'm ready. All right. Look at that. Yummy. So we got some just mixed cheese. This is just like Greer and cheddar kind of mixed. Right. And we're just going to put a little bit... That's going to You know how much we like cheese. I know. We love cheese. We love cheese. We got a garnish with cheese. And we even got a little bit of parsley. So we'll sprinkle a little parsley on there. And we've got a little salt and pepper. So if you want a little salt, you can put a little salt okay. and a little pepper. This looks so good. I think we should try some. I do too. Let's Thanks for it. serving me. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for dishing it up, Sheila. Mmm. Lots of flavor. Lots of flavor. Wow. This would really be good for the fall. Can't you imagine just having your big sweatshirt and joggers on and then sweats having a big on the bowl of this? Yeah, sweats on the couch and mm. in front of a fireplace eating this. This is delicious. You guys are going to enjoy this. you got to try this wonderful soup. 
mm. comfort food. Get you some big old French bread or some kind of rolls to go with this cornbread or anything, and oh, it'll be so good. So I'm dipping in it, uh, as I say in the south, sop it in it. Sop it in there. <laughs> that's right. Soak that. Soak that soup up with some bread, and mm, mm, mm. Mm. you're gonna like it. Well, as Steve would say, is this the best creamy chicken potato soup? If, if it, it ain't, ain't, it ought to be. be. Thanks again for watching and liking and sharing. And subscribing. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All of our social media links are right below. And visit ShotgunRed.com. Right. We've got dolls, DVDs. And cups. Cups. Coffee and mugs. T-shirts. T-shirts. And you can get all that visiting ShotgunRed.com and the recipes right below this video. Thanks again for watching. We really appreciate y'all. And let's eat. Right. Have Bye. a great Bye. Have a great day. You We're ready? Gonna eat. I'm ready. Yeah, one more time. Mm -hmm. uh, cheers. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Look at this. Mm -mm. Good. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.